Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Ted Carr, and I think you're watching a very special video right here. I'm going to try and keep this one short, I'm going to keep it sweet, and I'm going to remind you of some things that you already know to be true. I think you would agree with me that if you wanted to, you could really mess your life up in a week. You could do a lot of damage to a lot of relationships, and you could really ruin your image, you could really hurt a lot of people, you could potentially hurt... You could probably kill people, you could probably kill yourself, you could mess your life up, and you can mess everyone else's life up around you in a very short period of time by doing a few certain things that don't feel good. And on the contrary, you can really do some amazing things in a week. You can really turn your life around in a week. You can start doing all the little things just right and they can make a big difference in your life and you know that to be true. You know that if you walk past the burger section and instead you go for the salad or for the fruit, you'll just you'll, you'll feel better. You know that if you get out of bed a half hour earlier and you go do for you go for a walk or for a run or for some meditation, you'll feel better than if you just laid in bed and wish that you were never alive or that you didn't have to go to work or something like that. You know that you feel better when you leave the door and you close the door gently behind you and say like, goodbye, see you later, thanks for everything, rather than just slamming the door shut and saying, fuck off. Right there, these little things that we can do that make a big difference. And I think the recipe for a great life can be found in the same recipe for a great day. If you can figure out the recipe for a great day, what are the things that you can add to your day each day to make it a great day? Whatever those things are for you, they're going to be different for everyone. But for most of us, they're the same things. I'll get to that in a second, what exactly they are. But if you can find out what those things are that add to each day, and if you just do those day in, day out, day in, day out, back to back to back to back, at the end of your life, you've lived a whole bunch of days that are all great. So if you can make one day great and you can live those days back to back to back so they're sustainable, you're going to have a great life. And what are those things? What are some of the things that you can do each and every day? Well. A lot of them are really basic, just like get more sleep. Like when I don't sleep, when I get like five or six hours sleep, I just don't feel my best the next day. I don't feel as pumped up or as motivated to go. And when I have to do a bunch of chores or errands that I don't enjoy doing, that's not a great day either. And when I have to um, listen to a bunch of gossip or hear a bunch of bad news on the radio or from friends or from family members on the phone or something, that's not going to be a great day either. So you see, those three basic things right there, getting enough sleep, doing the things that you want to do each day, the things that you actually want to do each day, and consuming content and listening to content that actually feels good, those three things alone are going to make a massive difference for you. And there are other things you can do, like creatively express yourself whether that's through drawing or through writing or through speaking on YouTube or through singing or dancing, however you like to creatively express yourself, do that. Because whatever you're not expressing, you're suppressing. And suppression turns to depression and depression turns to disease and you don't want to go there. So focus on the expression. Vocalize what you've got to say. I think a lot of people come over to the vegan diet or even raw vegan diet and they experience some constipation. And they think, well I'm eating such a high fiber diet, how come I'm constipated? It's because they're not letting go. They're not. You're not expressing yourself, you're holding on to something. And I know for myself that to be true as well. I've experienced constipation in the past and it hasn't been because of the diet. The diet's been the exact same. It's been emotional. So if you're experiencing constipation on a raw vegan diet or even a vegan diet, extremely high in fiber, it's emotional. You've got to learn to let go. You've got to learn to express yourself, vocalize what you've got to say. Or at least communicate what you want to say. Um, and if you can do that on a daily basis, you're going to feel so good. Another thing you can do on a daily basis is to hang out with people you enjoy being around. Hang out with people that you laugh around. Hang out with, the, with people that make you feel like uh, this is an important time in your life. This is a great time in your life. Hang out with the people that you can think back on and think like, wow, like, this is going to be an amazing time in my life. When I look back at this in this moment, hanging out with all these people or just this person at least. That's another, another thing you can do. Um, some other little things perhaps, like I mentioned earlier, you can meditate every morning. If you just wake up and meditate for 10 minutes, that's going to make the biggest difference. And if you're scared of 10 minutes, like I once was, I thought, well, I don't know what I'm going to find in 10 minutes time, it's going to be kind of scary, I don't know if I can sit there for 5 minutes or 10 minutes, I'm going to fail. Just start with a minute. I started with 2 minutes before, and I recommend even starting with a minute, because it took me forever to just do 2 minutes. Maybe the barrier was too high, the barrier of entry was too high, 2 minutes is maybe too, high, too much for you. So meditate for a minute, 60 seconds, you can do that. If you're four years old and you're watching this video, maybe start with 10 seconds. You can do that, I'm sure. 
And once you get success with that 10 seconds, or those 60 seconds, you can move on to two minutes, and three minutes, and four minutes, and five minutes, and eventually you'll be doing 10 minutes every morning, no problem. I recommend checking out the app Headspace if you want to get interested, if you're interested in the meditation. And I recommend for this video in general, getting the app called Dailyo. Dailyo is a fantastic app. It's the app that helped me turn my life around. I was in a dark place, in a bad place, and I was having back to back to back negative dark days. And I was just like, I gotta turn this around, man. I gotta get an app that I can mark down like how I'm feeling and what I'm doing, and it can correspond what I'm doing with how I'm feeling. Because there is a direct correlation between what you do and how you feel. If you inject a needle of heroin, you're gonna feel that heroin high. If you take a pill of MDMA, you're gonna feel that ecstasy high, that MDMA high. If you smoke a joint, you're gonna feel that marijuana high. There's a direct correlation between what you do and how you feel. If you get punched in the face, you're gonna feel that. If you punch someone else in the face, you're gonna feel that. Like just everything you do, there's a direct correlation between what you do and how you feel. And if you're doing these little things day in, day out, day in, day out, and they're all good things, they're all things that make you feel good, then you're gonna live a fantastic life. So Dailyo is an app that lets you say, okay, today I had a cold shower. Today I did no fap, or I cultivated my life force. I retained my life force today. Today I went for a walk. Today I did some high intensity exercise. Today I pet a dog, I pet an animal today. Today I saw friends, I hung out with friends. Today I creatively expressed myself. You have all these options on each day and each day that goes by, it's like Tuesday, you tick all the things that you did. Wednesday, you tick all the things that you did. Thursday, tick all the things that you did, and over the t and, and then at the end, you tick all the things that you did, you say how good you felt that day. You felt amazing, you felt okay, you felt low, you felt down. And you're gonna see that on the days that you feel your best, there's gonna be a chart that shows like your, how good you've been feeling. On the days that you feel your best, it's gonna be those, those are the days that you went and did most of those things on that list, on that checklist. So there's a checklist that you can follow, and I recommend creating one for yourself. I'll put my checklist in the description of this video down below, and you guys can comment with your checklist. I maybe add things to it and help me uh, uh, expand my mind about what's possible, what's available out there for me to add to my recipe. Because I think my recipe is pretty awesome right now. Uh, you'll see it in the description below, but it works for me really, really well. And another thing I would really recommend you guys check into is just listening or watching something motivational or inspirational or just positive every single day. You brush your teeth every day, you shower every day, hopefully you get some sort of fitness and some sort of walking every day, but you don't just stand still every day. You definitely move every day. And you feed your bodies every day. You gotta feed your mind every day as well. You gotta clean your mind as well every single day. If you're not, then you, yeah, it might not grow to where you want it to grow. But you can take control. You can direct your mind to where you want it to be directed. And it helps to have assistance. It helps to listen to an audiobook or to watch a video every single day that gets you back on track and keeps you on track and keeps you on track and keeps you on track. Like the bumpers in a bowling alley. If you set up bumpers in a bowling alley, you're gonna hit the pins every single time. So why not do that with your life? Why not set up bumper alleys? Why not put one headphone here, one headphone in there, and just focus on where you want to go in your life by having those bumpers turned on? It worked for me really, really well. It continues to work for me really, really well. It works for everyone I know in my life that does it as well. And the people who don't do these things, the people who don't do the meditations or the cold showers or the audiobook walks or the creative expressions, they're the people who would really benefit from doing it, but they're just not in that vibe. They're just not the type of people to even watch this video to the end, to watch it, you know, eight minutes in. So, whatever, it's their life. They can do what they want, but uh, if they want to change it around, then they have many, many things that they can do, little things that they can do each day to make their life a little bit better. And it starts with just getting more sleep. It starts with saying thank you, thank you, thank you. It starts with watching a simple, positive, uplifting YouTube video, perhaps. Uh, everyone starts on a, at a different point, but point is the end result is pretty much all the same the joy levels of joy go up and uh, life satisfaction life happiness goes up and uh, that's what this channel is all about man I want you guys to experience more happiness in your life more day-to-day -day joy less suffering more feelings of relief more feelings of just uh, more feelings of bliss I want you guys to cry of happiness as often as possible Maybe if you did, maybe you cried of happiness every single day, it'd be like more of like a stress in your body, but I don't know, like crying of happiness, crying of joy, crying of being proud is like a really cool feeling, man. It's a really cool feeling. It's the feeling that like you could die right now and it'd be okay because you just saw something, you just felt something that was just so powerful for you that like nothing else compares, nothing else ever gonna ever gonna come close. Like when you see your daughter being born, your son being born, or your daughter playing piano on stage for the first time, or dancing, or singing, or whatever it is, little girl or little boy making you proud or your dog doing something or your mom or dad doing something your brother or sister doing something someone close to home your best friend doing something amazing 
that gives you a great feeling of joy. That's like a cool feeling that you can cultivate on your own without needing anyone outside in your life to bring on that feeling. People say like, oh, I need a girlfriend to make me feel this way or oh, my boyfriend made me feel that way. Truth is someone else can't make you feel something. They cannot make you feel something. Someone just acts the way they act and based on your interpretation of that, based on where you're at in your journey, you're gonna feel whatever you feel. Whatever you're focusing on, that's what you're gonna feel. Focus equals feeling. How are you interpreting that? What are you focusing on? What are you thinking about? That's really what you're gonna feel. So do what you can to get your mind right. And when your mind is right, your life is gonna be right. Thanks so much for watching guys, I appreciate you. And I hope to see you in the next video. Be sure to check out the description and uh, you'll see my day in the life recipe for a great life. Adios.